Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 13th episode of Macross Delta. And yeah, our war, hold that whole thing is still going on. Characters are doing various things, and we'll see what those characters do in this episode. So, let's jump on in. 3, 2, 1, play. A massive body. A massive throbbing body. <laughs> yeah, they've come to play. I'm reminding you, it's time to go exercise. Sorry about Alexa. <laughs> that is our job. That is what we're here for. That is our that is our contribution. That it is. Still love the architecture. This show. Yeah, this is a space battle right here. Big old cannons, big old shields. It's amazing. <laughs> no, not the sound wave system. How are we going to listen to our tunes? Oh, so those eggs? Or the spider wrapped up enemy or prey? Such a menacing sight. Yeah, but waiting really can be rough when you see everyone else fighting. <laughs> Not to rub it in or anything. Oh yeah, there was that whole thing, right. Uh, forgot about that terrible plan. What a wonderful counter argument you got there. You sure showed him. Something was dropping over there, and okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I just a uh, bit of a cough there. Don't, 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 don't mind me. I'm 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 fine. Nothing nothing funny happened there. I'm I'm not laughing.
Just do your best. <laughs> yeah, howdy. Ooh, more shiny teleport vortex thingies. Okay, here we go. Now it's time. Now is our turn. What a nice entrance. The way they kind of like faded in there. Now they're singing. I feel so much more confident in our victory. They look great. They sound great. It must be so good for morale. I mean, damn, do they look good. Yeah, I think I'll be fine. I, I have confidence in him. His ability. Oh, something's happening. Uh, <laughs> something's definitely happening. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that's happening, right? Oh God, that is some damage. Yeah, my God, that is an explosion. The poor planet. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you might want to go fast. Like, real fast, real quick. Yo, go, go, go. Yeah, I need to do something. <laughs> Man, even that took some damage, it looks like. Somebody catch him. Just, yeah, just grab him. Man, that was way too close for comfort. He was so close to dying there. Smack him a couple times. Well, it kept, kept you alive, didn't it? <laughs> They've come so far since episode one. Oh, pugs. Uh, maybe Freya doesn't want to see that. But I mean, I think they already kind of thought they were a thing, so. Yeah, I mean, that's the one good part of it. But man, look at that damage. And of course, the sh their big old ship's mostly fine. Yeah, that was not a great thing to do. Didn't you guys use some kind of bad bomb thingy? On your planet, the scar or whatever it was called. If you <laughs> sure, and so it begins. This can't be good for us.
Yeah, that's... We'll need some more Valkyrie singing, I think. Quickly. Uh. No, we can't abandon Ragna. I like this place. Uh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Passionate metahorn. <laughs> Not sure how that was itchy, but. <laughs> Build this right in yours? A spare, huh? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> really just funny hearing a song about kissing as we're seeing, you know, the combat plane fly. Listen to the song, make it feel better. Galactic goddesses. <laughs> Man, that is a great sight. I don't think your ship has sails. You better not. I will end you. Somehow. Yeah, please do that. <laughs> there's some, there's some missiles, rockets, thingies for you. Somebody shoot this guy. Anybody shoot this guy. You definitely Hayate should shoot this guy. <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can one we want him. It's easier said than done in the clouds. Oh. Yeah, they still got their singing. Let's not forget that. Ugh. Yeah, we can't stop, Brede. You, that looked really close. Ugh. <laughs> You rotting apples. Uh, yeah, we need to. Uh, this is starting to look pretty bad. <sighs> oh, 
Or don't do that. Oh uh, yeah, the glass is completely broken. This is really bad. Not for long. It's just a little bit banged up. It's not too bad, but if that hits us... I don't know if we can even block that. Uh, okay. Maybe that, maybe that can. That, but hopefully, that's like our only chance, so... Oh! Think you cut that close enough? Okay, wow, it actually took it better than I thought it would. <sighs> Being a singer on the battlefield would just be so stressful. You're like the biggest target with like no way to defend yourself. It's just that'd be the worst. These soldiers have like a gun, you know. What's what you doing here, Freya? <laughs> pika, pika, pika. Okay. I actually got chills. Is she gonna jump? She jumped. <laughs> wow, Freya. Come to me, Hayate. Before she falls to her death. Wow, this is bold. But we're doing this. Yeah, hopefully it does. I gotta get some serious chills in that bit. Or flying with style. I had to feel her wind. Q, Q, Q. Yep, there you go. Finally, he notices. But really bad if he, if he didn't. Because you know when they're together, they're unstoppable. <laughs> Apparently he got pushed back. <laughs> she has a name, Freya. Yeah, let's let her in and do your cockpit. That was an unfortunate part to pause that. Yeah, just somebody prevent her from dying. I'm not even that picky anymore. <laughs> Easier to play. <laughs> bon, bon. It's amazing what the difference in wind can diff the difference that wind can make. It's a wonderful thing, isn't it? <laughs> Nani? As it arises from the from the depths of the ocean, it's pretty cool looking, actually, especially with like the water falling off of it. Uh, is that just like a big cannon? Jeez, we are gonna we're gonna have a firefight. Yeah, let's blast them. See if we can take that. And that water's still falling off. It looks so good. Yeah, let's matrix these bullets. Pretty good, isn't he? <laughs> He's got that scene back in him. <laughs> How dare he? Yes, I would say so. 
He fly to the cockpit. <laughs> Just went over to his. Yeah, come on, take down this white knight. Oof. Preferably without you blowing up. That looks like a pretty good shot. Oh yeah, I think I might have actually done it. At least, you know, disabling the ship. If nothing else. I guess that's it for now. We didn't lose anyone I cared about, so that's good. I mean, I was mostly referring to the, the troops, not so much the Ragna citizens. That, that was just, that was just tragic. We couldn't stop that terrible plan from happening. Uh, really was a nice place. And then that happened. Yeah, then there was that. That was... That was especially hard to watch. I mean, like, credits rolling. And yeah, re crazy reckless Freya just jumping off, becoming a flying girl. Giving an upskirt to pretty much everyone. And then that was cool. Big old beams blasting each other. And of course, Freya just flying around in her ghost form, whatever you want to call that. Passionate diving. Oh god, he took some damage. That might be it for him. Tips almost touched. Well, at least he got to go in a cool battle. But he is the enemy, so I can't feel too bad for him. Although they weren't even the ones that did the bulk of the damage to the planet. Drifting, drifting Embrace. That's an interesting title. Okay. Well, that was the 13th episode of Macross Delta. And it was quite the episode. You know, the Wind Windomarians, they made their move. They come in, the big old battleship. They, they blast us. They shoot. They, they attack we attack them back we have our sit we are with singing they try to attack all our, our walkkuda and the, they got way, way way too close for comfort to succeed and really we just had that clutch block luckily but yeah this really wasn't uh, definitely not a fight that we can be happy about really I mean we had this uh, stupid plan with the whole blowing up thing which not not a lot of good came of that I don't I don't think and just i still keep they did they had to play it a second time as that fire was just going by as she was like outside the the building and just whooshes on by i can't get that image out of my head like it's just stuck in there almost playing on repeat like on loop that's just that was just so painful to watch really i can't even describe it really but things could have definitely been worse though all the walk that girls got pretty close to just getting blown to bits there so could have been worse definitely could have been a lot better though 
Like, I, yeah, it did not go well. I think we at least crashed the White Knight ship there. I, at least, like, it looked like it. I had to almost die, too. Like, it was really close, but luckily he didn't. So, and we also killed their king, you know. That's, I guess that's something. Doesn't really matter that much, really. I don't think, but that is something that happened in the episode. But yeah, very, very, I mean, very cool, action packed, you know, fight scene and stuff, but, you know, it also has the, the sadness of losing people in war, so, you know, damage to our beautiful planet. So we can't really be too happy about it, like I said, but there were some hype moments, though, for sure. You know, Freya just like flying around in the air, being like, "Hi, Ate, catch me!" It's like, "Oh no, no, okay, I did you, no, uh, Mirage, Mirage, you catch her. I'll go deal with the White Knight." And then she catches her eventually. Then she like, you know, astral projects out of her, out of her cockpit, you know, as she does. So it's amazing what the change of wind can do. I mean, the wind is just such a weird mechanic that I don't fully understand. They bring it up a lot, and it's, you know, connected to the singing and runes and stuff, I guess, but, like, it's just such a weird abstract sort of concept that I just... They talk about it a lot, and but I just, I don't fully get it. I, I'm not get it well enough, I suppose. But... Yeah, so I mean, that will definitely have much too much to say on the episode beyond that, really. Just, it sucks we couldn't stop that stupid plan from going forward. Like, it just, even the bad guys were just like, really, guys? Like, that's that that's not cool. How could you, how could you do that? Like, yeah, it's just, it wasn't cool. Like, I don't see how anyone could think that was a good solution to the problem. Because it definitely wasn't. The Walkerdeck girls look great, though. They sound great, you know? That's, I think that's what I'll focus on most at the out of the episode. But, yeah, that was the episode. We'll see how things go in the next one next time. So, bye-bye. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.